Next, we are going to do the front bodice, okay? So the front bodice is simple, guys. What we are going to do here, I'm going to create two lines here. So switch to Edit Pattern Tool, click on it, then select this Edit Pattern Tool here. Click on this shoulder line. Then I'm going to right click and select Offset as Internal Line, okay? So to bring this create as internal line window, however, there is some problem here. So instead our internal line go down is went up. We want it to have this opposite direction. To do that, we have this under option here. We have to check this box right there, reverse direction, check that box. And now our internal line, instead of go the opposite direction, just came this way. That's what we want. Now I'm going to increase the number of offset to two. Then I'm going to type in the first value of one, press on the tab key, and the second value is 1.5. And offset from selected line, distant individual, perfect. Next, I'm going to click on OK to confirm. Okay, so as you can see here, we just created two more internal lines. And next, we are going to use the internal polygon slash line tool over here. So click on it, then I'm going to select this internal polygon slash line tool. So this is cool. See right here, this is a internal line with 12 centimeter when we created. That is the front next depth right there. Then I'm going to come over here. So the first internal line that is a high point shoulder then we are going to come down here to the second internal line that is the low point shoulder so i'm going to click and then place that right there okay next i'm going to come down here and click on this bus line right there and i'm going to press return or enter on the keyboard to confirm all right let me zoom out it actually we're almost done guys all we need to do here, using this Edit Curvature tool over here, click on it and then come to this Edit Curvature tool, click on it to select. I'm going to just click and then drag it down just a little bit. By the way guys, this is a basic block pattern drafting method for a fitted top, okay? Next, I'm going to click and then drag this to curl it in. You see right here, this is the line that I'm talking about here. We create this shoulder line and then one centimeter less than shoulder line. Then this right here is two and a half left from the shoulder length. This second line right here to create this front block curve. Okay. And I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. So as you can see right here, we create this perfect front bodice block. Okay. It looks great. 